Yes, this is the story of an entire family. A family which has lost the joy of life. Stan's rut of being a workaholic, who eats more junk than a garbage disposal, has forced him to finally take stock of himself. Likewise, Sharon takes time from her own rigorous schedule and taxing habits to reflect back on what really is important. It does not take too long for Stan and Sharon to find their way back to the plumb line of truth. His old Bible. Reading from one of the Gospels of the Lord Jesus. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Matthew eleven twenty eight. Thus, they commit their way back to the Lord God of the Bible and His precious Son. Their all in all, even their health, is laid before His throne. Lord Jesus, forgive us. We owe you everything. We are returning to you, Lord. Taking his commitment seriously, Stan began to study on just how to improve those things he had let slide for so long, like his weight. After many hours of calculation, he developed a very unique formula, a formula for his meals. His heart being set right again spiritually, it was all too obvious that he need be a better steward of his health. His body was, after all, a gift from the Lord. But no one could have known how serious Stan would become. For along with his formula, a new identity would be born. Mr. Shibboleth, enemy of fat. No! Things changed for Stan. No more sodas at his desk. Water became his staple. His energy level increased. Even co-workers took notice. You lose weight, boss? For lunch, candy bars were replaced with good food in proper portions. At home, Stan himself set the good example needed for the kids. Processed junk food out, natural foods and fruits and vegetables in. Sharon was ecstatic. 